I'm Mark Hart, I love Hart, and welcome to my gym. I'm going to show you a series of tips you can do at home. For more information, you can contact me on haveaheart.co.uk. Hi, I'm Mark Hart of Have a Heart. Now, we're going to put all the exercises we've learnt over three weeks together into a circuit based exercise. This is going to be fat burning, this is going to be body toning, and it's going to work in the heart and lungs. First of all, is press ups. It's 30 seconds of work. So don't forget, it's working triceps, it's working shoulders, and it's working the chest. Keep our technique right. And we just do it for 30 seconds. Keep looking down. So from here, squats. Don't forget, it works front, back, and glutes. So look up, underneath, come down, stand back up. Sit back on the chair, keep your technique right, stand back up. Don't forget, hold your breath, and just keep working through 30 seconds. Most importantly, the technique is right on all these exercises. Okay, so from there then, wood choppers. Again, hands off the head, core tight. From there, we're gonna come down, hips down, back up. So just work in, abs, again, shoulders, and his legs, the core is tight all the time. We look up, push our hips away, keeping our back flat. Just keep working through. Get technique, then we build up pace. And it's 30 seconds of work. And we're gonna work through, and we're gonna keep going. Good. So from there, lunges. Remember lunges. So from lunges from there, keeping our head, shoulders, and hips in line. Come down, knees off the floor, heel back. Turn with lunges, so keep working through, keep everything in line, brace the abs, looking forward. Again, it's 30 seconds of work, just making sure head, hips, shoulders in line, knee just off the floor. Working the heart and lungs now, we're going to work through, brace the abs when we do it, and keep looking forward. Push the hill away to help you push back. And we keep working through, guys. Just keep going. Keep making sure we look forward on lunges. So, from here, then, a bit more heart and lungs now. So, we do heart sprints. Okay? So, we sprint on the spot. So, imagine there's a heart on the floor. So, from here, then, driving on the toes. And we jump forward, middle of the heart. Knees up. From here, I'm going to jump back to the corner of the heart. And keep working. It's 30 seconds away, this one. And jump forward again. Right to the bottom of the heart. Knees up. Into the other corner. And we go around again. So it's 30 seconds, 5 seconds each corner. And we jump forward. We go as quick as we can now. And keep going. Working through. Here we go again. Get his abs braced. Right on the toes. Come back. One more time round. Jump forward. Knees up on the balls of the feet. Jump back. Almost there now. Jump forward. And once we've finished that one, guys, it's a minute's rest. We repeat it five times. Once you've finished that, Make sure you stretch, most importantly, after the exercises. And about prayer. <laughs> Cheers, guys. Thank you very much. Brilliant. Right, guys, now we're finished the workout, and I'll take you through a few stretches. These are to prevent muscle soreness and help joint mobility. So we can do them on the floor, so I'll show you first of all. So find yourself a mat at home, or just a rug on the floor, and all we're going to do is actually lie down onto our back first of all. So we're going to do a lower back stretch, which is the most important one to do. So what we do here, actually, lie on the back, 
head on the floor and we're going to bring our knees up to our chest. So we're going to cross the legs, grab around the knees and all we're going to do is lift the knees towards and bring the hips up to the floor. So what we're trying to do is just stretch the lower back. Just hold that for about 20 seconds. If it starts to get any pain during any of the stretches, just ease the stretch off. It starts to relax, bring the stretch back a little bit more. Good. So once you finish that, just place your feet on the floor. So that's the lower back stretch. Now I'm going to show you to do to stretch the inside of the hips. So it's adductors. So what we're going to do here is push the elbows onto the knees and push the knees out. Bring the heels in as far as I can, keeping your body upright, and just gently, very, very gently, just push with your elbows, knees to the floor, and just keep stretching that out, and keep your body upright. If there's any pain in the inside, again, just relax that, and then we just bring it back, and we just hold that for about 20 seconds, just trying to easy stretch out the inside of the leg. Just keep your body upright, just breathe through it. Gently, gently push that out. When you finish, just relax the legs up. Shake it out. So we can do a calf stretch now. So with the calves, what you need to do is literally relax your feet, and point the toes back to yourself, and then keep your body upright. And you feel the stretch straight away in the lower part of the leg. And just bring the toes back. Just keep. I bring them back to as far as I can go and just hold that stretch there. Again, just stretching the lower part of the leg, keep your body up for a nice, good posture. Just breathe normally. Now we see the front legs, which is the quads. So we slow on the side, keep arm out for support, keep the lower legs straight, keep your hips in line, and all we're going to do is grab around the ankle, keep the knees together. Bring the heel to the bum, and then just push the hips forward. You feel the stretch in the front part of the upper leg. And all we do is just keep that there, keep the knees together. Again, if it starts to cause any pain, just ease the stretch off. Or if it starts to relax, just bring the knee back. And then we're just going to turn over on the other side. We do the same the other side, okay? So all we do is come over. Hilt to bump and make sure the hips are in line. Again, you're stretching the front of the leg. Extend the hips forward, emphasize the stretch a bit more on the front of the leg. So from here, we can do our hamstring, which is the back of the leg. So the hamstring is all I'm going to do is point the toe up to the ceiling, keep the leg nice and straight, wrap around the back, keeping the hips on the floor, just bring leg towards me. I want to make sure we keep the hips on the floor all the time. Just relax your body, just bring the leg back. And then just relax the foot. Again, hold that for 15 seconds. If it starts to ease off, you can bring the leg back a little bit more. So once you finish, just relax that one. And we just do the other side. Again, these are very important, so if you start to feel any soreness, we need to make sure we stretch after exercise. So that's the hamstrings. So from here we can do hips. So with the hips, what we're going to do is I'm going to come forward. I'm going to bring my knee underneath me so my left leg comes underneath and my right leg goes back. So I tuck that one right underneath, switch the outside of the hip. Bring the other leg back. I'm going to lean forward and all I'm going to do is try and push my hip to the floor, keep my head facing down. So what I'm trying to do is stretch the outside of my hip, just relax your arms on the floor, just try and push that hip down as far as it can go, and just hold that there. If it causes any pain, again, just sit yourself back up, release, and then come back down again. Just try and push my hip to the floor, and stretch that hip up. So from there, what we can do, we can do a hip flexor stretch. So same leg, bring that left leg forward. So we're making sure the knee doesn't come over the toe, so it comes in line with the ankle joint. Keep your head, shoulders and hips in line. And you feel the stretch 
the right side of the hips. I'm trying to open up my hips. So I'm going to stretch the hip flexors. Again, any pain, take it back and bring it forward again. Just hold that there. So once I finish that, we'll do the other leg. So same side, same thing the other leg, other side. And all I'm going to do is again come forward. Trying to emphasize, relax the arms, push the hip down, and the leg out nice and straight at the back. What I'm trying to do is push that hip down to the floor. So Any pain again, just relax that and then come back down. Okay, so from there then, hip flexors. So I'll take the right leg forward, making sure to stretch in the other side. Knee, keep that in line with the ankle. Head, shoulders, hips at nine, and just push forward. Relax the other leg, so it's nice and relaxed, and just trying to open up the hip. So we'll start with upper back. So from here, what I'm going to do, clasp your hands together, elbows flexed, open up shoulder blades, I'll just show you from the side. So open up shoulder blades, put them away but keep the elbows flexed. From there, what I'm going to do, bring my chin down to the chest. And just concentrate on putting my shoulder blades apart. You feel all around the upper back. Out and stretch. So from there, I can do chest, so I'll show you from the side. So chest, I'll put my hands into the small of the back. I'm going to pull my shoulder blades together, my elbows together, and push my chest down. I'm trying to stretch all around the outside of my chest. I'm really just trying to pull that together. Your shoulders, so shoulder stretch. My left arm comes across the body, my right arm grabs around the back of the arm, and I just pull my shoulder in towards me and keep my arm nice relaxed. Pull that in. So stretching all around the outside of my shoulder. Again, any pain or discomfort, just take it off and just reapply the stretch. Just pull that in. So let's do the other side. Again, right arm come across. Shoulder in, try and pull that in, stretch around the outside. Just trying to relax it. So from there, back of the arm, which is your triceps, bring the right arm up, top of the back, grab around the fleshy part of the arm. What we're going to do is pull that in, tuck it around the back of the head, and try and stretch the back of my arm, which is the tricep, keeping that hand there. Emphasize on pulling that in. And just relax. Just done that. Bring that one down and change sides. So it's a stretch in the back of the arm, just trying to release tension, prevent soreness, see the day after. Cool. And then from there, we can just do another lower back stretch which is obviously just standing up. We're going to come down, to show you from the side. Come down, hands on the back. And then we'll just emphasize, bringing the hips up, keep the knees bent, bring the head down, and then try and arch the back up. So I'm just trying to release the tension in the lower back. Just hold that there. Just try and suck in your belly button. And then really try and arch that up. Good. Come up nice and slow. And that's it guys. So thank you for watching. Hope you're not too sore and I hope to see you again soon. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to check out next week's tips. For more information you can contact me on haveaheart.co.uk or Facebook, Have a Heart. Cheers guys.